Manchester United back in action this weekend against Newcastle United at Old Trafford. It's been a couple of weeks since that 1-0 defeat against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. It was a pretty humiliating 70 minutes. After that, a really promising opening 20 minutes, but then Man United went really flat. Chelsea dominated. Kante, Fabregas and Bakayoko dominated the midfield. Mkhitaryan was invisible, but it's a two-week period now. The international breaks so far this season have taken momentum out of United sales. Hopefully this one puts some momentum back in our sales. A few of our players had very good international breaks. Anthony Martial started for France against Germany, got a cracking assist. He did well. Matic was rested. Antonio Valencia was rested. Lukaku got back to goal scoring ways. So the international break has actually served United well, apart from Phil Jones' latest injury. We'll get into that in a bit. Let's get into the preview. So Manchester United have actually lost two of our last six games. That 1-0 loss against Chelsea and obviously that humiliating 2-1 defeat away to Huddersfield. In our last six games though, we've only scored seven goals and that's Man United's problem at the moment. But Lukaku got back to goal scoring ways with a brace against Mexico and he also scored against Japan as well. He is now Belgium's all-time leading goal scorer with 31 goals and he's only 24. Lukaku has started this season fantastically well. He went on a mini drought. It's not even a drought. A few games without scoring a goal, and all of a sudden the media's on his back straight away. United fans aren't on his back, but the media is. But Lukaku himself will want to get back to goal scoring ways. And Newcastle at home, let's be honest, it should be a good game for Manchester United to get back into our form. Their last two matches, both 1 0 defeats against Bournemouth and Burnley. And their top scorer this season is Joselu with just two goals. And therein lies Newcastle's problem. They're 11th at the moment in the table, and they are not scoring very many goals. And with Man United leaking hardly any goals, I think we conceded six now after that one at Stamford Bridge, a wonderful Morata header that any goalkeeper wouldn't have stopped, not even David De Gea. He was rooted, and that kind of says a lot about how good that finish was. But with Newcastle firing blanks, and Man United's defence still standing pretty strong across the season, You've got to be confident that Man United can keep a clean sheet and put Newcastle's defence under real, real pressure. But what's the team news going into the game? So, Phil Jones is expected to miss the game with an aggravation of his hamstring injury during the international break. Went off against Germany after only 25 minutes. And apparently Jose Mourinho is pretty angry at the fact that he's got injured. But if he was injured, why did Phil Jones even leave on international duty? He should have stayed at Manchester United. So if it was the case that he did have an injury before he went, then Mourinho's stupid for letting that happen. But what about the other players? Paul Pogba, we all wanted him to be back for Newcastle, but it sounds like Man United won't take a risk on him and will keep him back until maybe, was it Basel coming up in the Champions League? That could be a good game to give Pogba 20, 30 minutes to get him back into action. It sounds like we're going to not take a risk on Pogba. Marcus Rojo returned to action with the reserves this week. Got a 45 minutes under his belt. Welcome back to Marcus Rojo, but he won't be fit to play He's looking at CSKA Moscow in December as his return date, and the 5th of December I think that is, so hopefully he'll be back as soon as possible, because he was fantastic at centre-back last year. And we need a partner for Eric Bailly at the moment. Maybe Viktor Lindelof, somebody else who had a wonderful international break. Two clean sheets against Italy, 180 minutes without conceding a goal. Sweden's defence looks solid. Sweden went to the World Cup. For a man who needed confidence, that was the best international break that Lindelof could ever have had. So maybe now is the right time to play Victor Lindelof. Uh, other players who are going to be fit, Matic and Valencia, both rested during the international break. We don't know about Michael Carrick yet and whether he's going to return. And Zlatan Ibrahimovic is set for a return, but not just yet. So who will start for Manchester United against Newcastle? So, as you can see, here is my predicted start 11 for Man United against Newcastle this weekend. In goal, David De Gea best goalkeeper in the league. Hopefully he won't be too busy against Newcastle. Now, right back Antonio Valencia, after he's been rested, he should be fully fit. And we need, as I've said at the start of the season, we need to make sure that Valencia doesn't get burnout. So we need to give him a rest whenever he can. And a two-week rest during the international break is perfect. So he should be fully fit. Now, centre-back partnership, I've gone for my predicted 11, Bailly and Smalling. I do kind of feel that this might be the right time to start a bit to Lindelof. But I hesitate to say that Mourinho will not take a risk, as far as he's concerned, and play Smalling instead. Let me know whether you agree with that or not in the comments. At left-back, Ashley Young, I think he'll be playing the majority of the season. Luke Shaw, he's completely out of favour. Whether or not I want him in the team, I don't think he will be in the team. And in midfield, I think that Mourinho is going to start Nemanja Matic and Marouane Fellaini over Ander Herrera. Again, 
Probably not something I would agree with. I would rather see Herrera start there, even if he's playing poorly. He needs games to, I don't know, shake off the bad form. But Mao and Fellaini, I don't like seeing him start as a central midfielder. I like seeing him play further up the pitch as a number 10 or coming on as a substitute. That's when I think you get the most out of Mao and Fellaini. At left wing, there's no other option than Anthony Martial. He started for Germany in the international break. He got fantastic assists for Lacazette and he's been in great form all year. He deserves to start this and if he doesn't, I think he has every right to feel aggrieved and frustrated not to start against Newcastle. And number 10, I'm giving Henrik Mkhitaryan one more chance. Not one more chance and you're out the door, but one more chance to start as United's number 10 before getting dropped from the team. He scored for Armenia during the international break. Maybe that breeds a little bit of confidence into him. But we need Mkhitaryan to get back to the Mkhitaryan that got five assists in August as soon as possible. He's been playing poorly in the last few games. Newcastle at home, Henrik. This is where we need to see you get back to your best form. And at right wing, I've gone for Marcus Rashford over Jesse Lingard. I don't think Wayne Matter will be starting out wide anytime soon, or he shouldn't be anyway. And I, I'd rather see Rashford there. And up front, I've gone for Romelu Lukaku, who I'm certain will score against Newcastle and get back to goal scoring ways. But my betting tip for this game, we're back by Ladbrokes for the season. As always, thank you very much to Ladbrokes. There's a link in the description. Bet £5, get £20 free. UTD peoples, follow that. Use that code, you can get that. I'm backing Anthony Martial to score first in this game. I think he'll start, and I don't think Newcastle's defence will be able to handle him. That's my tip for the game. As for my prediction, I think Manchester United will get back to winning ways at home. I say back to winning ways. We've been brilliant at home so far this season. Five games, five wins, 15 goals, and zero conceded. So at home, we are a completely different beast to away from home where we've drawn against Stoke, we've lost to Chelsea and we've lost to Huddersfield. At home you've got to be confident. For me 2-0, that is my prediction for this game. I think Martial will score first, I think United you know, will be in control against the Newcastle side which has been very flat in the last few games. They went through a period at the start of the season it was a bit shaky shaky, then they got a couple of wins under their belt. But right now this Newcastle team doesn't scare me. Maybe I'm gonna, it's going to come back to bite me on the arse. And we will lose this game, but I don't think we will. United, very good at home this season. We've had a good international break, apart from the Phil Jones injury. The squad is looking in good shape as well. And heading into that crazy December fixture period, we need to get a couple of wins under our belt. And that's got to start with Newcastle at home. But what is your prediction? Let me know in the comments. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. Drop a like on the video as well. That always helps. Until next time, take it easy.